So the new trailer finally dropped. For the most part, I loved it. I do have a few questions, which presumably they're going to hold back, because, of course, you want to hold a few things back. You don't want to see the whole film in the trailer, but overall, pretty amazing stuff. It looks like it will be balanced. We're going to get a lot of Transformers and Decepticons, and the humans do play a role, but it's not dominant. Even though I didn't care for the Bay films, this does have a bit of the Bay flavor, but it's balanced. Like, I can mostly tell where characters are, how the action flows. With the Bay films, it was really way too chaotic. I don't hate Michael Bay's style, but I think with the Transformers, I just prefer the cartoons in the first generation and that interpretation of the Transformers, but that's me. So this one looks like it's trying to do an homage to the early films, as well as play with the later mythology, which has the Beast Wars, and those kind of characters. I'm more familiar with the early Transformers, so I'm going to have to do some homework. But the basic gist is that the Decepticons and Transformers will have to team up against a third party, apparently working for Unicron. And I guess Unicron has delegated some tasks to Scourge, and Scourge and his antagonist is Scourge working for Unicron, I have to be honest, I do like Unicron, and I didn't mind him in the animated film, but I think they should have built that up, because this is, like, a lot. Of course, it could be this is just preparing the way for Unicron. Unicron will maybe be more of a cameo, but I don't know. I would have preferred building up to Unicron myself, but that's me. This is a lot, but still, it is interesting that, yes, it makes sense that you need something global to pull all the Decepticons and Transformers together to put aside their differences, and that will be the main story. And Optimus Prime feels a little bit weird in this version because he's a little standoffish. He doesn't like human beings. So that felt a little bit odd. I prefer the more friendly Optimus Prime. But again, this is a different timeline, a different universe. They're building on the Bumblebee movie from the 1980s in terms of the story. This is set in the 1990s. So they're ignoring the Bay films, but there are a few connections to the Bay films that this is its own universe, so this may be a little jarring for people who are like, wait, why is Optimus like this? Where's Sam? Again, that is being ignored, but I'm sure the continuity is a little bit loose. So this is a whole new story, but with the familiar characters. So it's going to probably be a little bit mixed back for people who wanted to build from the Bay films, but there we are. So this is an entirely new story building from the Bumblebee movie. And again, I did like what I saw, but I really would have preferred a much more, I don't know, middle-range villain and go from there. And the designs of the characters are a little bit mixed with me. For the most part, I did like them. I don't know why Optimus Prime in particular is so grungy. I mean, he at least looks very powerful. I like that, but he looked a little too dirty. I just don't know why they keep doing that, making him look... I don't know, they want to make him look, I guess, old and a veteran, but I prefer the much more clean look with Optimus. So, I'm giving my hearty approval. I'm very excited for what's going to come up. It looks like the action and adventure and the epic scope is going to match what should be for this film. And the humans will, of course, play their role. I'm sure they're going to have something useful to do to contribute to fighting Unicron. But again, I would have preferred a middle-sized villain and sort of build up to Unicron. This seems like a lot for the film to handle. And there are a lot of characters here, so this may be a little bit too much for entirely new people. But I guess if you are, yes, a longtime fan, this is a very good mix of the old and the new. And the direction looks very assured. The music, everything's looking very much on point. The voice acting is excellent. Only a few issues with the visual style. Yeah, when you have too many characters on screen, it does look a little flimsy. But when they're sort of by themselves or just in small groups, it looks really, really good. So... Very strong approval for Transformers Rise of the Beast, and very eager. And they did a good job of keeping the secret, because I would never have guessed Unicron would have been pulled out this early. So hopefully it'll work, but I do have some questions and doubts, and that's where I stand at this point with my initial reaction to the Rise of the Beast trailer.